So you guys know in the first John Wick movie how Keanu Reeves had that line where he's like, People keep asking me if I'm back, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. He had another line in this movie that was basically the same thing, but for some reason I thought of this clip. Told you I'd be back. Well, now I am. Back. I don't know if I was the only one. It probably was. <laughs> So John Wick Chapter 2 is the sequel to John Wick, the action movie from 2014. A movie that I really enjoyed. You can check out my review if you want. It was uploaded last week. Check it out. It's a good time. And in John Wick Chapter 2, I don't really want to give away too much of the plot because the trailers didn't really give you much and I didn't really know the plot going into the movie. What I do know is John Wick is back doing his John Wicky stuff. Is that a phrase? John Wicky stuff? The can we put that in the dictionary? Thanks. And at some point, he travels to Rome. That's about all I knew going into the movie. And John Wick Chapter 2, I think, is a pretty sweet action movie. First of all, you got Keanu Reeves. Say what you want about the guy's acting. I personally think it's awesome. But as far as action stars go and stunts and just commitment, this guy is the real deal. You can tell how many of the stunts in this movie he did on his own because you see his face as he's taking down these thugs. I think a lot of that is on Reeves' performance, but I think it also goes to the sound design, the stunt choreographers, the cinematography. All of that combined makes for some really sweet action scenes. And being in the middle of that, it'd be really easy for Keanu to be like, yeah, get a stunt double to do that. But no, the guy commits to his roles. He's passionate about this character of John Wick. And I do genuinely think that in the scenes when Keanu does have to show a range of emotion, he's able to show those ranges. Like, you're not gonna have a scene like the end of Tom Hanks at the end of Captain Phillips or anything like that. You know, the character of John Wick isn't that emotional. But the guy does have emotions. He's got anger, he's got rage, He's got sadness, and I think that Keanu is able to convey that in every single point in the movie. And this movie does set up more of the assassin world. You know, John Wick goes to Rome, you find out there's a whole nother continental there. And without giving too much away, it's really cool seeing the stuff that the first movie talked about just being expanded upon. One thing I think this movie does illustrate very well in the core plot, as well as some other plot points throughout the movie. You guys remember the nightclub scene from the first John Wick movie where John Wick goes to kill Yosef, but Yosef gets away, but John Wick still kills all of his bodyguards? After the scene, John Wick calls Yosef on the phone, and he just says, Everything has a price. I think that movie does illustrate that point. Even Ian McShane in the first movie says something along the lines of like, if you dip even one pinky back into this world, it's gonna suck you in and grab you back. And you see that. You see him being sucked back into this underworld even though he just wants a nice retirement. But I also think John Wick Chapter 2 is able to do is something that not a lot of movies do, which is that it gets better with each act of the movie. You'll find, especially with a lot of big blockbusters now, they peak somewhere around the first or second act and the third act really isn't that exciting, usually because there's some giant sky beam. But with John Wick, I felt that each act of the movie slowly made the movie better. Now in that, I can also say that the movie started out a little bit slow. This one I believe is about 20 minutes longer than the original John Wick and there's a little more downtime in this one than there was in that first one. In the first one I thought they jumped into the action pretty quickly. In this one there's a really sweet action scene at the beginning. But then after that it takes some time to set up the plot and the plot is still interesting but I did notice a lot of John Wick walks into a building and some guy in there goes ah Mr. Wick what a pleasure to see you again. They conduct a little business John Wick leaves and the guy's like enjoy your stay or it's been such a pleasure or I hope your party is great. And I was never bored in those scenes I just noticed there wasn't a lot of action going on. But then I found the second act the action really picked up a lot more and then in the third act there was a little less action but the action that was there I thought was really sweet but all the reasons you go into a John Wick movie those are here in this movie it's got some really sweet action some cool car chases really awesome knife fights gun fights without giving too much away one thing I don't quite buy about this movie is you do see a lot more assassins in this movie and there's one part John Wick is just walking and like every single person by him is an assassin it's almost like being an assassin is like being an uber driver in this world and I don't quite buy the fact that there are that many assassins in this world but I feel like that's kind of a minor nitpick with this movie. So if you did not get a chance to see John Wick last weekend, go check it out this weekend and also go check out Lego Batman. There's two really awesome movies in theaters for you to check out right now. And hopefully those will tire us over till Logan because I'm not feeling a cure for wellness that much. Although Get Out looks kind of interesting, but as far as blockbusters go, these are going to be the two that carry us to Logan. But John Wick Chapter 2, did you guys see it? Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you guys next time.